Why you guys, Jessica Tullough makes a fatal mistake about the new border czar. You have to check this out. Trump is assembling his team and making the liberals scream. The president-elect tapping Tom Homan for border czar in charge of mass deportations. The former acting ICE director reacting on something called Fox and Friends. Let me show you guys a really quick clip of this guy, Tom Homan. His resume is insane. He already, I, I know you guys already seen the clip of him destroying AOC, but this one is insane. Check this out provided the official recommendation to Secretary Nielsen on family, for the United States to pursue family separation. I gave Secretary Nielsen numerous recommendations on how to secure the border and save lives. But it says here that you, re you gave her numerous options, but the recommendation was option three, family but, separation. What I'm saying, this is not the only paper where we've given the Secretary numerous options to secure the border and save lives. And so the recommendation of the many that you recommended, you recommended family separation. I recommend a zero tolerance. Which includes family separation. The same as is whenever a U.S. citizen parent gets arrested when they're with a child. Zero tolerance was interpreted as the policy that separated children from their If family. I get arrested for DUI and I have a young child in a car, I'm going to be separated. When I was a police officer in New York and I arrested a father for domestic violence, I separate that. Mr. Holman, with all due respect, legal asylees are not charged with any crime. When you're in the country illegally, it's violation 8 United States Code 1325. Seeking asylum is legal. If you want to seek asylum, you go through the port of entry, do it the legal way. The Attorney General of the United States has made that clear. Okay. And that's why they hate this guy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's on in the. Is it on this channel? Morning, maybe? I don't know. Kill Meads on that show. Ah, that explains it. <laughs> Where he vowed to end the crisis. Public safety threats and national security threats will be the priority, because they have to be. They propose the most danger to this country. I don't care if you're Republican, a Democrat, or independent. So border security is national security. I've seen the, these, some of these Democratic governors say they're going to stand in the way, they're going, they're going to make it hard for us. Well, I, I, you know, a suggestion. If you're not going to help us, get the hell out of the way, but we're going to do it. To the American people, President Trump is going to secure this border. He's going to save American lives. You know, uh, Judge, you got to hand it to him. He does look like the wall. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I, I think he means business. Mm -hmm. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? This is not oh, yeah. somebody who's trying to win a popularity contest. No. In fact, he <laughs> said he doesn't give a damn if you'll excuse my English what anybody thinks of him. He's got a job to do. He's going to do it. He was in the first Trump administration. He has been a stalwart, a stalwart supporter of the president. During and, and he's told Trump, we're going to deport more people you, now than we did in your first term. And I think... With that type of information, that type of attitude going into this is the best type of attitude you could have. Come on, guys. What Trump has done in, in, in this week of knowing that he's going to be president is insane. It's not, it hasn't been a week. Tomorrow will be a week. But to know what he's done, it is honestly insane, guys. This is, this is a dream come true. In the Let's last four years, look, he has, the president has a mandate. Popular vote, the Electoral College, the American people want this. And right now they're estimating that there are 20 million illegals in this country. And when you try to assess who's going to be deported, uh, Homan said the bottom line is if you come into this country illegal, uh, illegally, you're not off the table. So I say to myself, I suspect they're going to start with the criminals, all right? The, the first, it's the felons, the violent felons, and then it's the criminals, and then it's going to be, what about those? people who had appointments for asylum and then never went to court. They should be deported immediately as well. So um, they're going to try to revive the Remain in Mexico. They're going to try to get the third, these individuals to stay in a third country. And all of these governors, they can resist all they want. But 75 million Americans want this done. And what I think is interesting, uh, Greg, is that they said that Homan was also in charge of all maritime and aviation security, 
which tells me that it's it's not just the people at the border, it's the bringing in of drugs, I imagine, uh, and, and other things in terms of air and water. So, you know, the Dems fear mongering, as they will definitely do, is not, they're not gonna have any credibility because they don't really have an audience anymore. This is what the American people want. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesse, how he's used and this is something to me that is so obvious that needs to be done. Uh, as Americans, we need to come together and we need to agree on something and come to a common grounds to where this could be understood, right? Because what I believe is these people come over here, they commit crimes, commit serious violent crimes, take a lot of jobs from, from us. And there's nothing wrong with coming over here to find better work. No one's ever saying that. But what we're saying is if I have to follow the law, why do you have to come over? Why do you get a chance to come over here and not follow the law? Right? Like you said, if I get a DUI and I'm driving and I have kids with me, they're going to separate me from my family because I broke the law. But they come over here, they break the law, and that's, that's all right? I'm, stuff like that is so obvious to me, so I don't really understand why, why it's not common sense. The Larry Kudlow hot tub rule with immigration, last one in is the first one out. <laughs> This is about people that cut the line. Now mm -hmm. they go to the back of the line. Mm -hmm. And it's not that complicated. Barack Obama deported 5.2 million illegal aliens, Jessica. The deporter in... And, 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 and people want to sit there. Oh, Democrats would never do that. Democrats, Democrats are so good. When you look at these numbers and these stats, where is the lie? You know what I mean? Where is the lie? Because, oh God, guys, I, people keep saying this. The, the Democrats wouldn't do that. Kamala didn't want to do that. Kamala, I don't even know. I don't even know what she was trying to do. If I'm being 100%, I, I don't know what she was trying to do. You see all the states she went in, there was no voter ID re uh, required. All the, all, isn't that a coincidence? All of them. No voter ID required. Come on, man. This is, I see right through this type of stuff, guys. I love reacting to it and showing you guys what I see and my understanding of it as I watch it. So let's keep going. Chief. I call him that. I wanted to win on that, but that didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> so I think on day one, uh, when he's a dictator for the first day, he's gonna just tell all the illegals, you can either leave the country now mm -hmm. or we can make you leave the country later. Mm -hmm. And that's not that controversial. And he's gonna start with, I believe a lot of the Venezuelans, the Haitians and the Afghans. Uh, start with the criminals, as Judge Janine said, and also there's 1.3 million migrants that have already been ordered to be deported but have not left. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with them next, and then we'll get to Jessica. The military, <laughs> you don't even know if I'm joking. The military. Send me back downtown. <laughs> the military is going to play a key role because they have the basing, they have the aircraft, and they have the vehicles. So that yeah. has to be done. And you're going to have to, as you also said, begin negotiations with Mexico to get Remain in Mexico back. And you have a lot of leverage because USMCA is up for renegotiation. We do $800 billion of trade with Mexico. There's a lot of pressure points there, plus his threats to go after the cartels. Again, a lot of pressure there. There's a woman who's in charge of Mexico now. She's apparently a left-wing radical. We have no idea how she's going to act with Trump, so we're about to find out. But they've really depressed wages. And they've sent rent and housing costs through the roof. Not to mention hotels. You can't even get a hotel. And if we had to think about this, if Kamala was to get in there in office and she's trying to offer a $25,000 voucher for first-time homebuyers, it sounds good on paper. But what do you think that's going to do to the housing market? Guys, let's say, I, let's say I own properties and I know everybody can get a house now. Do you not think I would raise my prices? Everybody's getting this type of money. Wage minimum wage going up high. Do you not think I'm wouldn't raise the price of living? Uh, of of living, you try to go to the store. Bread isn't just three dollars now. Now it's eight dollars, right? To match the type of money that you have, it's all about profits. Why would I'm trying to tell you guys, man? This stuff will crash the economy. Hotel in Manhattan anymore? It's because all these illegals are sleeping here. So if the Dems resist this, it's again they're going to have to be resisting the will of the people, mm -hmm. which is what got them in trouble in the first place. Excellent point, Jesse. Jessica, let's let's widen the scope to the uh, appointments in general. Um, let's look at something like Secretary of State. Uh, I'm not putting any names out there, although I'm free. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, what is the point of entertaining like senators when you should have all these interesting people on the outside that should be brought in? I 
Well, it depends on anyone's background. There are mm -hmm. people on the outside who have pertinent experience, and there are people on the inside who do as well. You obviously have to think about keeping seats if there's any danger that someone's from a swing state. Mm -hmm. um, but it seems like from the smaller list that Trump is considering both. I know that Rick Grinnell is, um, is on there and that Rick has served previously as the ambassador to Germany and did that well. Sure. I do want to say something, though, about Tom Homan. Mm -hmm. So for everyone who said Trump doesn't know what Project 2025 is, he just put a key contributor in charge of this. And Tom Homan was interviewed on 60 Minutes, and he was asked, is there a way to carry out mass deportation without separating families? families? And he said, of course there is. Families can be deported together. He also said that it didn't mean if someone was coming to be, quote unquote, rounded up and grandma was in the house and she's undocumented. You commit a crime together, you go to jail together. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. That's why they come over here. They sneak over here because they know the consequences. You're sneaking over here. If you went about it the right way, uh, come on. This is so... Why, why are we letting emotions get into stuff that should be common sense? If I break the law, I'm not getting a slap on the wrist. I'm going to jail for it. I can't come over. I can't sneak over there and, and try to start a new life. <laughs> that it didn't necessarily mean that grandma wouldn't be taken to. And you can say Donald Trump has a mandate till you're blue in the face. Taking grandma is not what people were voting for. They were Abuela. voting for criminals to be kicked out of this country. Mm -hmm. Abuela is the Abuela. Spanish word. Yeah. That's right. She, really, I'm Jessica? Not Abuela. Really? Yeah. Really, Jessica? That what? is just so offensive, Jessica. not knowing the name. <laughs> Dana, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, on where they move forward? What do you think of the choices? We heard about Lee Zeldin, our friend I Lee. think Lee Zeldin's an, an excellent choice. I want to know what you guys think. Really quick, I want you to tell me what you guys think about Tom Homan being a part of Trump's super team he's building. How do you guys feel about that, honestly? Because this type of guy, he has so much logic when it comes to this, and he, he's, he's just so blunt. You have, you have to respect somebody that's blunt like that, and I believe he's a person that can get the job done. You got Tosi Gabbard on his team. You got J.D. Vance. Byron Donalds is, is, is doing some work. Tom Homan now? RFK Jr.? Hey, the deep state has a rude awakening. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. We're out.